Bell's caught eight passes tonight. Third and five. Thomas going to go to the end zone. Cole, did he catch it? He did. Touchdown. I think he landed on the football, too, and knocked the wind out of himself. He'll take that right now, I think. What an amazing effort by Danny Cole. The ninth catch of the night is the prettiest one. Well, they'll look at this one again, too. For sure. We've had this the third one we've had tonight. The play is under further review. The third play we've had where a receiver or an interceptor has had the ball going to the ground and the ball's made contact with the ground. And again, what they'll look for, did the ground aid him in catching the ball? It was ruled a touchdown on the field. And Derek's tell us, look at the elbow as well. It was ruled a touchdown. Puts the right hand way out there. Well, of the ones we've had tonight, I think that one looks more like a catch than some of the other ones. What an incredible effort. Oh, my goodness. They put Cole and Boykin on the same side. Boykin ran the short route. Cole ran the corner route. And Logan Thomas put the ball in a place where only his guy could make a play. Jim Fogeltance is up in the replay booth. <laughs> Danny Cole still having fun. If it's a catch, it's a career-high night for him. It would be his ninth catch, and none bigger than that one. You know, at the end of this play, as he was going to the ground, it did look like his left elbow hit the ground before he and the ball hit the ground. And he had security of the ball before he hit the ground. What an effort. One more look. He catches it with his right hand. Watch his left elbow. Hits the ground before the ball does. I think that's going to stay as a touchdown catch. I think it would be tough to overturn, yeah. that's for sure. There's that elbow. So the drama continues to build replay by replay. Here's the call. After further review, the receiver did not maintain control of the ball. They take it off the board. Wow. 